Hello, this is Dr. Tina Cannon from Chenega State, and in this session we're going to learn how to uh, work with linear regression using our TI calculator. What we want to do is look at a homework problem that's located in Unit 2, Section 2.2. And uh, this problem uh, comes from some information that's in the textbook, and this is data about bears. Um, the first list that we have gives us the chest size of bears and the next list gives us the weight of the bears. And what we want to know is is there a linear correlation between these two um, items. If there's a correlation, a linear correlation between these two, then we will be able to make a prediction if we're given the chest size of any bear, then we should be able to predict a an approximate weight for the bear. That's only if there is a linear correlation. So what we want to do is first calculate a regression equation using our calculator. So I'm going to pull up the calculator. And the first thing you want to do is place the values in list 1 and list 2. So we'll go to STAT and push ENTER. And what we want to do is type the values into the calculator. So currently I've already typed the values. So you can pause this video and type in the values that are given for us. Now, to find uh, to do linear correlation or to uh, find our regression equation, what we need to do is look at to, uh, under statistics, we want to look to see if there is a linear correlation. So I'm first going to push stat move over to calculate and if you notice the form that our va our uh, equation is in um, notice the X is on the second uh, number so what we want to do is we do not want to use 4 right now um, we will go down to number 8 which says linear regression A plus BX and um, what we want to do is select number 8 and push enter and then you have to make sure you push enter again and it should give you the linear correlation or the linear equation I'm sorry so in this particular problem uh, notice it says they want us to round to two decimal places as needed so our first value that we're going to have will be negative nine nine point three six and the next one that we will have will be twelve point oh five so let's type in the values and see if this is correct and the next one was 12.05 and we want to check our answer and notice it tells us that we're correct now what happens is there is another step in this to be able to make a prediction we've got to determine if this is a significant linear correlation which if you notice on my calculator currently the R value is not located on here so what I need to do is I need to do this one time on my calculator. Now your calculator may have shown an A, a B, an R square, and an R. If it did, that's perfect. What happens is right now uh, my calculator does not have the R value on there, the correlation coefficient. So to turn this on, if your calculator does not show an R and an R square like this one does not, you're going to push second and zero for catalog and what we're wanting to do is turn diagnostics on if you notice at the top right hand corner we're in the alpha mode which means the alphabet and we're wanting to turn diagnostics on so I'm going to select the the uh, key for D and I'm going to scroll down to diagnostics on and we'll push enter twice be sure to push it twice and it'll say done now when I go back to stat and move to calculate where it says remember number eight was our linear regression that we used and I push enter again now it gives us everything that we need to do we only have to do this one time to turn our calculator on uh, the diagnostics on from now on it should be uh, here if you change batteries you may have to do this again now, the reason we want this, we have to determine if our, our equation is, uh, if the data um, 
give us a significant linear correlation. And if it did, then we can use our equation to make a prediction. If it didn't, then we have to take the mean of our y values. Now the first list will be x and the second one's y. If there's not a significant linear correlation, then you actually have to find the mean of y and use that as your prediction. So let's go to our course and let's pull up our formula sheet. Underneath where it says student resources, uh, go down to where it says formulas and tables and you will use this to determine if there's a significant linear correlation. Now uh, currently I'm on table A6, that's where you want to be. Notice this is the critical values of the Pearson correlation coefficient R. If I call my calculator back up, we can see that our R value was 0.983. Now if we look at our problem, notice it does not tell us which alpha to use. If it does not tell you an alpha to use, what we want to do is use 0.05. If it tells you, then you know sometimes it will tell you specific alpha to use. Now. Also, we have to look to see how many pairs of points we had. That's going to be the n in this table. So go back to our problem. Notice there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our n will be 6. If I can find it, n is 6. Notice that we're going to use alpha is 0.05 and we have a critical value of 0.811. Now, here's how you determine. If your r that you calculated on your calculator is greater than the critical value, that means there is a significant linear correlation. If R is not greater, then there's not a significant linear correlation. Now you have to remember, if you come up with a negative R, you have to take the absolute value of it and use that. But right now our R value, let's see what we have, our R value is 0.983, that is greater than 0.88 or 0.811, so that means there is a significant linear correlation, which means we can actually use our equation that we come up with. Let me go back to our equation. We can use this to make a prediction. Now notice in our problem, the data show the chest size and weight of several bears. Find the regression equation, which we did, let in the first value be the independent var variable x. Um, then find the best predicted weight of a bear with a chest size of 62. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our calculator and we're going to put 62 in for x and work it because we can use this equation because there was a significant linear correlation. So let me pull this up and let's see. What we want to do is type in negative 99.36 plus 12.05 times 62 because that's the chest size. Now what we're doing is predicting how much this bear is going to weigh. So we predict that this is the weight of the bear. Notice it says to round to one decimal place so we will have 647.7 so that's how much we predict that the bear will weigh based on previous data. 7.7 .7. We're going to check our answer. Okay, and so our answer was collect, correct. Um, this gives you an example of when there is a significant linear correlation. I'm going to move through the homework and see if I can find one. Let's see, I'm not sure. Uh, as you go along, you will have to actually go through and work each problem and uh, take your R value and compare it to your critical value. And like I said before, there's some different problems in here that you'll have to go through and work. Um, if there is one that the R is less than the critical value, what would happen is you would have to find the mean. I'm going to go back to the problem we just did. I'm going to show you how if you needed to find the mean, how you can use your calculator to find the mean. Remember we're trying to find the mean of the Y values. So I'm just going to show you that because sometimes they ask you to, to make a prediction and you'll have to use the mean of Y. So let's push stat, move over to calculate and we're going to push enter and remember our Y values are in our second list so I can push second and the number two 
for list two and push enter and notice there would be the mean so if there was not a significant linear correlation then my best predictive value would have been 565.2 also if you push stat move over to calculate notice the two variable statistics we have two variables in our calculator you could also use this one number two and push enter now notice the first one deals with X if you notice there is an arrow if you scroll down there's the Y values so notice there's the mean of Y if there had not been a significant linear correlation I would not have been able to use the equation and that would have been the mean of y would be the closest value that I could use. So this is an example of uh, how to use linear correlation to make predictions.